ladies and gentlemen. This is Danielle Shapiro. She binged on 32 sushi rolls at an all-you-can-eat buffet, and she had to be rushed to the hospital. <laughs> I guess some people are just out here doing some stupid mess. So this is a real lighthearted one, y'all. You know, every story can't be serious. So let's get into this one. So this is a California woman, Danielle Shapiro, 24 years old. She wanted her money's worth of sushi. So she went to a buffet at Sushi 85 Restaurant, which is in Mountain View, California, last month. But after indulging on too much, including 32 rolls of sushi, uncooked delights, it left her feeling raw inside. Following the binge, Shapiro was rushed to the emergency room with severe stomach pains. She was diagnosed with geoesophageal uh, reflux disease, also known as acid reflux. Wow, I'm surprised that's all she had. Shapiro shared the experience on December 23rd. Woo! How do you consume that much in one sitting? That is just outrageous. So, you know, of course, you see the IVs that are in her arm. She's warning sushi lovers that, you know, and her video has gone viral 11.3 million views. What a stupid move. You know, of all the things that are going on, you want to sit there and accumulate hospital bills, but maybe she got coverage that will <laughs> take care of this stupid move she made. So it was an all-you-can-eat sushi gone wrong. So she said she's a huge fan of sushi and she likes to eat sushi a couple of times a month if lucky adding that she had planned a trip to dine on a japanese fair with her friend we were both looking forward to the all you can eat sushi experience our dinner was about two hours long because we were stuffed we had to keep taking breaks she added she started off with miso soup Mm, mm, mm. And I guess it, she went from there. So she moved on to eight green dragon rolls, eight snow rolls, eight California rolls, <laughs> eight wakame rolls, and a helping of edadame. Mm, mm, mm. I think that's edadame. I'm sorry. I don't eat this stuff, so pardon me. Shapiro then revealed that she went down <laughs> her monstrous, she took down her monstrous meal immediately after dinner. We were so full, we had to sit in my car for 30 minutes before driving home. My stomach felt very firm from all the sushi and probably the rice that, uh, you know, it expanded her stomach. Yeah, you're eating like that. I would imagine it would expand your stomach. She went to her partner's house to try to sleep it off that night. I went to sleep at my boyfriend's house and I had the worst stomach ache, but I didn't think much of it since I had a huge meal. I am not a morning person, so when I woke up at 6 a.m. the next day, I knew something was wrong, she said. She added my stomach and my chest had intense pain, and it was hard to take deep breaths. Her boyfriend and her grandmother reportedly drove her to the hospital where she was diagnosed with acid reflux and given medication to alleviate her pain. People experience acid reflux when stomach acid flows backwards. Um, yeah, it, it does. You know, I got a couple of people in my family that have acid reflux. You know, luckily I don't have it. No one in my family, my immediate family have it. 
but I do have a couple of relatives down in the South and they suffer from acid reflux, but they do have a procedure that can fix it. They have to put a tube down your throat, but they can fix it. You know, especially if you have medical coverage and you're tired of popping pills and feeling that acid move up your throat, you might want to consider that. So ladies and gentlemen, acid reflux is extremely common and can happen to virtually anyone. As 60 million Americans experience symptoms in any given month, while researchers estimate about 20% of the people in the U.S. suffer from acid reflux. Symptoms include heartburn, chest pains, regurgitation of food or sour liquid, difficulty swallowing. Following treatment, Shapiro admitted it took several days to recover and feel normal again. Despite her trauma, she won't quit her favorite dish. I definitely eat sushi, you know, so she says she will have sushi again, which she probably will. This experience has not ruined sushi for me or the all you can eat sushi experience. I did learn that the next time I need to listen to my body and take things slower, she concluded. So no lesson learned here, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> She'll probably be in pain once again from eating too much sushi. Wow. I've had sushi before, but it is definitely not one of those things I would just run to. It, it wasn't, you know, it was not that it thing for me where, oh, I got to have sushi all the time. It's never been that way, but I have had it in my lifetime a couple of times, but Nah, I, I can pass on that, you know, just eating raw stuff like that, especially all that raw meat. I, no, I'll pass on that. But y'all, please tell me what you think. You know, a lot of salmonella <laughs> and things like that. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace family.